is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be teaching you how to script park mode in roblox studio um park mode is basically when you put the car into park which in roblox when you hop out of the car it'll change to a slower pattern um you, you'll basically see it once we get it done but um so basically what you want to do you want to get a car i'm going to be using this 21 tahoe um you can use whatever um I'm not going to script the whole light bar because that takes too much time. I have to mute my phone because it's going to yap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a couple ions, and we're just going to be doing park mode on ions. So the first thing you want to do, you obviously want to go into your car, open it up, go to body. You want to add a model, not three models. You want to change that to light bar. And then inside the light bar, you want to hit the plus, add another model. You're going to create three of them. One's going to be called front, okay, side, and rear. Once you have that, you want to grab a car that already has ELS in it. So we're going to be grabbing this 20 Explorer for Clay County. You're going to grab the ELS folder, the remotes, the strobes, the values, the middles. You want to copy. You want to go into your car that you're doing in the light bar right click paste into in this middle you want to drag into your car now after you're done with that you can take this you can get rid of this close it up etc now that you've done that a little tip for you guys to get your lights perfectly even you can click on the light on the actual push bar go down here copy the origin position now click on your ion and paste that origin position so now that's going to perfectly center it. So you're going to bring it out to where it looks about good, which will be right about there. And that's going to perfectly center it. Go to your model. I suggest making move to one stud. Move it. Move it over. Duplicate it. Move it over. So now they're going to be perfectly even. And yeah. So once they're perfectly even, it looks a lot better of than it being like, you know, maybe over a little bit. It doesn't look even. So you can't really tell, but if you're getting in like really serious and developing, that's the best way. So you're going to take your two ions, you're going to scroll up and you're going to put it, put that into your front. Once you've done that, you're going to open these. You're going to grab the two neons out of it. They're not really neons because they have lighters inside. You're going to take these and you're going to drag that into your outfitting. If you do not have an outfitting, go up to your body, create a model and name it outfitting. Don't know why I just clipped it, but okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead into your Lido, you're gonna click on them. I always like to change my brightness in my Lidos to 20, just makes it a little brighter. Once you've done that, you're gonna change it to E1 and E2. So you wanna name this one E1 and this one E2. Now once you've gotten your parts named and everything done like I've done, you can pause the video and go ahead and get that done if I went too fast. You're gonna hit this plus you're going to hit a script. Now it's basically the same thing. It's just you're going to add a couple things. So you're going to do that. Script.parent.parent.front. While true do wait. If script.parent.parent.values.on.value equal equals one. And script.parent.parent.values.park.value equals one then. So basically the only thing different is you're adding and script.parent.parent.values.park.value equal to one then. That's the only thing you're adding that's different. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and add a script. For stage one, I'm not going to do anything. So we're just going to do ved.e1.lido.enabled equals, equals false. And then I'm just going to copy this. You can write it out if you want, but I always like to copy it, change it to E2. And now you're going to hit enter. You're going to type else if script.parent.parent.values.on.value equals 2. And script.parent. Not that. Script.parent.parent.values.park. Dot value equals 1 then. So that's basically it. Stage 2, we'll maybe do a slower pattern. So we'll change that to true, wait, 0 0.23, we'll do three. Copy that, 
change that down there and that to true. Now once you've caught up with that, you can also go ahead and pause the video and kind of catch up with me. Um, then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and hit enter, backspace, else if, script.parent.parent.values.on, value equals three, and script.parent.parent.values.on, not on, dot park, dot value equals one back. So if you know how to script TLS, it's not much different. If you're brand new to TLS and looking at this video, click on my channel, scroll down, there'll be many videos. There's videos on how to just script state street ELS with neons. And then there's also videos how to script state street ELS with Lidos. The Lidos is what we're gonna be using, so I suggest you go ahead and watch the Lidos video before you finish on with this video. So what you're gonna do, I'm just gonna grab this, and we'll just speed those up a little bit, just like that. Now, this is where it gets a little different. You're going to hit enter. You're going to hit else. You're going to do else if script.parent.parent.values.park.value equals zero, not one, zero. Then, you can go ahead and grab this. I suggest you change your wait time to 0 0.9. It's really slow, but that's what you want park mode to look like. You want park mode to be slow. You don't want it to be, you know, blazing fast. So once you've done that, you can hit else, add an else, hit enter, grab this, and make sure they're all false. You don't need your wait time anymore, so you can go ahead and get rid of your wait time. And then boom, you just scripted park mode. So you can go ahead and exit out of that. You can change the script to push one. That's, you don't really have to change it to that, but that's just what I do. And then if you go ahead and uh, if metal would get out of my way, you could go ahead and hit play here. So it already is in park mode, but that was a mistake on my end. If you go back and in these, the zero, it's zero. Instead of the ones, make it a zero and make the zero one. So that was a mistake that I've made many times. That's why I did that. Just to show you, if you do mess up the values, it will automatically start in park mode. So if you start it now, as you can see, nothing starts on. You can get in your car. Stage one was nothing. Stage two was a little slow. And then stage three was fast. And if you hit park and you hop out, it goes into park mode. It's that simple. Park mode isn't hard. You get back in and it goes right back to your stage three. Now, park mode works in any stage, so if you're in stage two, it'll slow it down too. So, you get back in, and you'll automatically be in stage two again, but put in stage three, you're good. So, park mode is not that hard. It's actually very simple. People think it's, like, extremely hard. It's not. It's the only thing different is you're adding the and script.parent.parent.values.park. That's literally it. That's the only thing different, and you have to add the else if down here and make your park pattern. It's very simple, non-difficult. Um, right now, I don't have a Discord server. I would have you join it. Just leave a comment if you need any help. I will respond to it, and I'll either give you my Discord or I can help you in the comments. Um, if you did enjoy this video, my name is Ben Braden. Stay safe and take care.